There was something that we released yesterday was called Office Lens. Can you see it? Okay. All right. So what that's going to do is it's taking a picture of my document, but you'll notice that it's actually picked out the document I've got sitting on the desk. And what it's going to do is take a photo of that, and then it's going to actually impose that and flatten it for me. Now, that's one cool thing. So I do this a lot in meetings. I'll take photos of the whiteboards, and it'll do that, and it'll automatically save that to OneNote. But one of the cool features that it will also do is when I click Save here, I can tell it to build a Word document for me on the fly. So all of those, that information that's available on this page here will actually be pulled, and there'll be elements in a Word document. So I'll be able to grab all this text and go through it. Now, if you don't believe me, because I didn't believe it when I saw it as well, because um, it just seems like dangerous magic voodoo, is that um, when I go to, I've got to remember where I put this now, in here, this is that document. So you can see it's recognized that that's all a, um, uh, an image. And here's all the text from that document. So I mean, I was pretty impressed with that. So that was launched yesterday. You guys are a tough crowd. I didn't get one round of applause for that. Right? That was available yesterday inside um, the uh, Windows Store. And obviously, we have Office Lens available for the uh, iPhone. It doesn't quite have that feature yet, but you can expect that we'll actually launch those on each of those platforms. So just two things as, as I um, go through that now. If you're a developer, the dev.office.com center is somewhere where our team is actively working. So if you're a dev in the room and you're like, that's cool, I want to build those apps, or you're a business user in the room and your devs are back at home, this is where you need to point people. We have various resources in here, um, including a whole bunch of code samples and podcasts and videos for training. And in the code samples, we've even got samples of building Android against SharePoint and various different bits like that. If you're an IW, your best landing page is office365.com. This is where we'd expect you to go for more information around the service and support and help on things that are coming out. Now, there is one additional place. And this is the place if you want to try and keep up with what's going on, which is blogs.office.com. And this is somewhere where you can get all our podcasts and videos and all of the announcements that are going on here. I love the Wi-Fi in this building. There you go. So you can see here, this is where we announced Delve and the various different other milestones. So those three sites are the key sites that you guys should be accessing. Now, with that, I wanted to kind of uh, take some time to get some guys in front of that microphone there. If you have any questions, feel free to hop up. Um, I will be around afterwards. Um, I'm going to be around to the end of the week, actually. So if you do have questions around particular things um, and you're too shy to ask on a microphone, Hopefully, that's give you a good idea about some of the evolution that we're doing in productivity, not just across the Windows devices, but across iPad and Android. Um, and you've seen that value in those app models and that collaboration aspect. So with that, I'd just like to say thank you for David for inviting me on stage. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference and get a lot out of these sessions. So thank you very much, guys.